Hey everybody, Mark Comfort here. Uh, my wife Mimi and I and our entire staff at Cruise Holidays and Comfort Tours wish you a very happy holiday season and the merriest of Christmases and a great New Year's. I hope Santa will bring you the gift of travel uh, this year. We'll find out if you've been a good boy and good girl. Hey, this uh, webinar is all about Royal Caribbean Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean Cruise Line has been one of our very, very best partners, uh, honestly, for matter of fact, our number one partner in ocean cruises for uh, 33 out of our 34 full years in business. I think that's a pretty uh, spectacular statement and it's uh, incredible. Um, it's an incredible partnership and the partnership is really important because everything benefits you, uh, our customers. And you're gonna hear a lot about Royal Caribbean today, what's new, uh, what's uh, special, what's gonna come up for your vacations when it comes to uh, ocean cruising and especially Royal Caribbean. But the group that you've seen in front of you, we uh, are mostly my vacation advisors or our vacation advisors and our vacation coordinators. And they're, um, one of the things Mimi and I have always believed in as owners of the company is that our uh, value to you is increased when there is firsthand experience for you. When we can tell you, all about the experience, the ship, the destination, whatever it is uh, from firsthand experience. And all these pretty ladies on the screen have just gotten off the brand new wonder of the seas. Uh, Lauren was in Galveston. You're gonna hear about the new pier there and the four ships that will be cruising out of Galveston. And, uh, and then uh, I just wanna say, please, uh, as you get together this holiday season with friends and family, think about the opportunities to take a vacation together, whether it's with uh, extended families, meaning kids, or whether it's the adults, or a combination of those two. Grandma, grandpa, one of the biggest uh, things you can do for your kids is leave them memories that will last a lifetime. Mom and dad, same way if your parents um, doing a cruise like this as a grandparent or as a parent for your extended family, uh, is invaluable in those memories. So, and nobody does it better than Royal Caribbean. So first of all, I'm gonna introduce our Royal Caribbean representative that keeps us informed about all the changes, about everything uh, new. She helps get us on these fabulous ships. She gets us to these special places, say like a per perfect day at Coco Cay, uh, where it's probably 85, 86 degrees there today. That's Miss Kristen Trim. Kristen. Wave to everybody and say hello. And I would hello. say, Thanks for having what, me. why don't we do this? Thanks I think for having me. We'll, uh, we'll turn it over to Kristen. We'll uh, get out of the video part of this. We'll listen to the presentation. And then as we get to certain parts of the presentation, we will have our vacation advisors back on to share with you some of this experiences, recent experiences they've had with Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. So uh, Kristen, take it away. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I am super happy to be here today. We have a lot of really exciting things to go over. I'm going to show you some of our super cool new things that are coming out with our new icon ship. And I also have to say we are very grateful for our partnership with uh, Cruise Holidays of Kansas City. So off we go. Um, what is our mission? Who is Royal Caribbean? Our mission is to inspire adventure. We believe that life is best lived when, when filled with as much adventure as possible. And so we inspire adventures that expand your horizons, bring you, uh, bring you to life and connect you to all kinds of people. Um, we have some pillars that we try to live by. We want to deliver you the greatest vacation. We want to wrap it all up in one big package with a beautiful bow and have families experience everything that we have to offer together. We focus on the customer. We deliver the um, best destinations possible. We've modernized our fleets and we are designing for the future, which we're going to talk about, and it is pretty darn exciting. But when you break it down, we just want our customers and our guests to be able to explore the world and we inspire adventure by doing that and we also deliver world-class service in every way one of our pillars is our innovative ships so we're going to take a little bit of time to talk about um, what we offer on our ships we have the best entertainment that that is out there probably with any brand we have real uh, uh, broadway shows that you get to experience on board. We have signature activities. Our dining experiences are top notch. I just got off uh, the ship and I don't know that I could eat another filet, but 
I probably gained five pounds and that's okay because it was amazing. Um, we have lounges and nightlife. We don't shut down at nine o'clock. We have amazing opportunities for kids and teens, fitness and spa to relax. We have beautiful accommodations, private destinations, um, amazing pools and outdoor amenities. And then we also have unsurpassed service. So this, this is our cruising lifestyle and we're really just gonna take a deep dive into all of this today. Um, our ship classes, what kind of ships do we have? Everybody says, oh, those, those ships are massive. But I'm telling you, once you get on board, we have navigated traffic flow uh, on board to perfection. And so from our smallest class, our vision class, all the way up to our icon class, you never feel like you're in a crowded area. You've got plenty of elbow room. Um, even just coming off ship, we were, I think we were at full load capacity and you would never know that there were that many people on board. Um, so these are our ship classes, the Vision, the Voyager, Radiance, Freedom, Oasis, which is our, um, our new wonder, which we just got off of, Quantum class, and then our newest ship class coming out is the Icon class. And we are going to take a look at that today because this ship is going to be a game changer. You want your family on this ship. We are, we've designed everything to be a full, uh, vacation in and of itself while on board and it has been built for the family um, we have filled this ship with iconic thrills chills and wows and what you're going to see today literally has it's only 20 percent of what has been released so far and you're going to be blown away by just that 20 percent um, and we're going to start with the iconic thrills if you can look at this image um, this ship is like no other we have Thrill Island, Surfside, and then a lot of returning favorites that are in the iconic Thrill section of the ship, which includes our water park, Category 6 water park. No other ship in the world has a water park like this on board. And this is absolutely the largest ship in the world. But again, you're not going to feel that when you're on board. We have a new feature called the Crown's Edge, which we're going to take a look at. And then we've got all the returning favorites that everybody loves about Royal Caribbean. So to start with our Category 6 water park, again, this is the largest water park at sea with six record-breaking slides. One thing I want to note is that this is complimentary. Almost everything on our ships is complimentary. Um, we're going to walk through that, but when you see everything that comes with your package just by boarding your, your cruise fare, you're going to be blown away. Um, also in Thrill Island is our new Crown's Edge. Now, I'm not going to lie, I may not be doing this one. Um, it is an aerial adventure challenge along with the, um, alongside the ship's crown and anchor. And just so you know, the anchor on the side of this ship is five stories tall, our largest anchor so far. Um, but you're going to walk out on this plank that is 154 feet above the ocean. And at any point, one of those little squares is going to drop out and you're going to zip line all the way around the anchor, 154 feet above um, the water. And again, this is also complimentary. I, I don't even think that I will probably do it, even though it's complimentary, but I guarantee you there's a lot of thrill seekers out there who will. Um, and then of course we have our returning favorites with our mini golf, our flow rider, our rock climbing walls, and our sports court. And I just wanna re-emphasize that all of this is complimentary. So your kids are gonna have a fantastic time. Mom and dad have a fantastic time. Grandma and grandpa gonna love everything about it. One of the most exciting neighborhoods that we are bringing on board is our Surfside neighborhood. And we have designed this especially to be a family neighborhood. Our designers really went, did a deep dive into trying to keep the family together on board as much as possible so that parents don't have to go to a completely different pool than the kids are at because they're splashing all over the place. Um, and we have put more pools on this ship than any other ship in the world. Um, so this Surfside neighborhood is gonna be great. As you can see along the walls, there's going to be suites um, uh, rooms that overlook the Surfside neighborhood, and it's going to be a really, really fun area. Um, but within this area, we have the Water's Edge Pool, we have Splash Away Bay, and we have Baby Bay. And then for playing, we have Playscape, Carousel, and the Arcade, all included in the Surfside neighborhood. Also included on this ship, like I said, is Seven Pools, Chill Island, and The Hideaway. And we're calling that Iconic Chills. That is a great visual of what the the uh, top decks on this ship is, are going to look like. Uh, very colorful, very fun, and again, seven pools to choose from. Really, we're bringing the water on board. Um, this is the most pools at sea, and they are featured on five different decks with more infinite ocean views. 
um, to bring the outside in and, and water on board. Uh, Chill Island neighborhood, again, will consist of four pools and six whirlpools. We're gonna have four lime and coconuts, including our first ever, ever frozen cocktail bar. Lime and coconut, if you haven't experienced that, it's one of the hot spots on board. Everybody gathers there. Um, it's just a super fun vibe for all ages. Really fun area to go to. Um, and we're gonna have in-water loungers with live Caribbean music all over the ship. Uh, Royal Bay Pool is the largest pool at sea with 40,000 gallons of water. You heard that right. This is an enormous pool on board a ship. Um, we're going to have in-water loungers in here, two whirlpools, and off to the left you can see one of our whirlpools is um, cantilevered, two decks up, and it's designed to look like a martini glass or a margarita glass, either way. Um, we are going to have the swim and tonic. Part of the design in the icon was to bring some of the fan favorites from Coco Bay, which we're gonna look at in a minute, perfect day, Coco Bay, sorry. Um, trying to bring some of those fan favorites on Coco Bay onto the ship. And bar none, the swim up bar is one of the most popular locations on Coco Bay, and I can attest to that because I was just there. Uh, so in this area, we've decided to add the swim-up bar that will also have 26 in-water loungers, one whirlpool, and of course a dedicated DJ. But the views from up top are going to be amazing. In Chill Island, we also have Cloud 17, which is our adult-only pool um, up, located on Deck 17. It will be secluded. It's a cantilevered whirlpool with a cantilevered whirlpool also, and then its own dedicated lime and coconut bar. I probably would want to hang out there quite a bit. Um, and then we have the hideaway neighborhood. The hideaway pool is going to be the first suspended infinity pool at sea, and it'll be suspended 65 feet in the air with 180 degree ocean views and its own dedicated DJ. That is going to be probably a very popular place to hang out as well. And then we have our water's edge pool, which is our family pool. Again, trying to bring families all together. So this pool is going to have infinity views in water loungers, and it'll be adjacent to the Splash Away Bay and the Baby Bay, Baby Bay Pool. Um, so the parents aren't too far away from the kids. And I do want to note that Royal Caribbean has more lifeguards on staff than any other brand, and you can see why. But we have uh, lifeguards almost at every corner of every pool. So rest assured, your kids will be safe. Got to keep those kiddos safe. Um, then we also have the Grove Suite Sun Deck Pool. Now, the Grove Suite Sun Deck Pool is exclusive um, to our Royal Class Suite guests, and it's the pool and whirlpool on the Grove Suite Sun Deck area near the Grove, which is an alfresco restaurant. So that'll be also a really nice place to hang out. This is a great visual of all the pools that will be on our uh, Icon ship and sort of a breakdown showing you where everything is. But again, this ship is going to be the perfect family vacation in and of itself, a complete game changer. And we are breaking all barriers with the things that we are putting on this, on this ship. We of course brought back the very popular Central Park neighborhood, um, which is the luscious Central Park in the fleet. Over 14,000, it says 13, but I'm pretty sure they said it was 14,000 tropical plants and trees and live jazz. This is one of my favorite places on board. We're going to have some uh, state rooms overlooking Central Park. That's where I was uh, just on Allure. And um, we have uh, sound effects brought in so you actually feel like there's birds in the park and there actually are birds in the park. Uh, but Central Park is just a great place to hang out. Fancy shopping, great dining, beautiful wine bar, a lot of good times in Central Park. Uh, we also have in our iconic wow section our new Aqua Dome and absolute zero. But I want to talk about the Aqua Dome neighborhood for a minute. We have taken the Aqua Dome and sort of have revamped it. We've moved it to the front of the ship. It is all enclosed and it's a five-story Aqua Dome that changes throughout the day. So it is an aqua theater. Our aqua show is back better than ever. Again, I just got off the wonder and I was blown away by our aqua theater show. Um, but this one will have a five story shape shifting waterfall right in the center of it. And it will be the largest freestanding dome at sea. I saw the video where they were actually putting the dome onto the ship and it was incredible to watch. It took them, I think, 47 hours to get it lifted and in place and seven minutes to lock it down and get it get it on, and then they welded it together. But a pretty cool experience just to watch that happen. 
Um, also, we're going to have the Royal Promenade in within the Royal Promenade neighborhood will be Absolute Zero, which is our ice skating rink, which is an immersive ice area. And it'll be the largest ice area in our entire fleet with a new circular design. If you haven't seen some of our ice um, shows, they are incredible. We've got professional ice skaters. Uh, but again, this area is used for all kinds of events, and uh, they can actually put a floor on top of the ice skating rink and turn it into a dance area, um, game areas, all kinds of things. Um, but this Royal Promenade will have 15 bars, restaurants, and cafes. We're going to have parades, parties, live entertainment. Of course, Absolute Zero will be there, and Spotlight Karaoke, um, which you will not find me at Spotlight Karaoke. Uh, we also have Iconic Stays. The staterooms on the Icon, well, all of our ships. I, I feel like our staterooms are really, really top notch. Um, but on Icon specifically, they're going to be built for families with incredible views and ultimate luxury. And when I say built for families, I mean built for families. 84% of this ship is going to be dedicated to rooms that hold three plus guests. Starting with the ultimate family townhouse, which is what you're looking at right now, which is a three story suite. Um, comes with its own picket fence and its own mailbox right out front. Um, but we also have Surfside Family Suite, Surfside Family View balconies, and interiors. Um, let's see, views for days. Again, the goal was to bring the outside in on ship. We want floor to ceiling windows for you to enjoy all the views that um, you have while you're sailing. Uh, this is a sunset corner suite. We also have infinite balconies, panoramic suites, and the panoramic ocean views. Ultimate luxury, of course, this is a great visual of our two-story Royal Suite Loft, which has the baby grand piano. We also have the Icon Loft, the Sunset Suite, and the Infinite Grand Suite. Those floor-to-ceiling -window floor windows are amazing, and the views are incredible. In our suite neighborhood, we have the Royal Suite Class, we have the Grove Suite Sun Deck, the Suite Lounge, and the exclusive dining for our suite neighborhood, which is Coastal Kitchen and the Grove. So our suite neighborhood will kind of be like a ship within the ship. Um, it is a dedicated suite area with, with suite amenities, and um, it's really just for our little suite, uh, suite guests on board. Uh, the Grove Suite Sun Deck will be a two-story sun deck exclusive uh, pool and whirlpool for our sweet guests and again the uh, grove which is the alfresco restaurant so we really tried to keep all of our neighborhoods still on the icon with thrill island surfside chill island the hideaway central park the Royal promenade aqua dome and then sweet neighborhood is new to the icon you can look at our itineraries here we're going to be, we're actually open for sale, so now is a great time to book with your travel partners um, here at Cruise Holidays Kansas City. Um, but we are open for, we're, we will begin sailing in January of 2024, and we will be doing seven night Eastern, seven night, uh, yeah, seven night Eastern and seven night Western Caribbean itineraries, which you can see here. All of our icon itineraries will visit Perfect Day at Coco Cay. One thing I want to touch on super quick is our amazing new Galveston terminal, which is the most eco-friendly, self-sustainable terminal in the world. And um, here you can see our ships that are out of Galveston, the Allure, the Harmony, the Adventure, and the Voyager. I'm going to let Lauren, who was, um, I was happy to have Lauren join me on the Allure inaugural down in Galveston. I'm going to let her tell you a lot about her experience and about this terminal and how you can get from the car to the bar in 10 minutes and not lose your entire day. So Lauren, take it away. Yeah, I mean, I was absolutely blown away by the experience in the terminal, which sounds kind of funny to say since it's literally checking you on to the ship. But I had the opportunity to be one of the very first people that used that terminal on the Allure of the Seas inaugural sailing out of Galveston, which was very exciting. But the crazy thing is, is that while that was the first time, you would have thought that the team had been using that terminal for years. It was such a, a well-oiled machine and there were smiling faces everywhere. What I really loved is as soon as you walked through the doors of the terminal, you were immersed in the Royal Caribbean experience. You felt joyful and you felt the excitement and it was almost like everyone was welcoming you with open arms. There's clear signage that's very fun so you know exactly 
where you're going. There's smiling faces for you to ask any questions that you have. And just a little bit about the process in case you're unfamiliar of what it could look like is you'll, you'll uh, if you're using the transportation that Royal Caribbean provides, you get off the buses that are right next to the doors and you'll walk right on through, go up an escalator to the check-in process. So it's very similar to an airport check-in process, but you feel fun and excited at the same time. So you will um, you know, show your boarding pass, they'll scan it, check your ID, then you'll put your stuff through the x-ray machines. And on the other side of that, there is a wonderful waiting area where if you're waiting for friends and family, there's lots of seating, very colorful, lots of fun signage on the wall. There's bathrooms for you to use, there's vending machines to use. And so it's a great place to um, just hang out and, and meet with people before you board your ship. And then of course, you'll walk right on through, show your boarding pass again, and then you're on your way to the ship and for a fantastic vacation. So if you're nervous about what that looks like, I want you to mark that off your list as that question's been answered because you'll be in good hands the entire time. Hey, uh, Warren, let me uh, interject here a second because uh, Galveston is such a great drive market from here in the Midwest. and uh, we have lots of clients that that would rather drive than fly, and a lot of families that think it's more affordable, and it is, to drive mm -hmm. than fly. And they have a parking lot for people to drive there, right, Lauren? Yes, yep, you can definitely drive there. It's a very, especially with us being Kansas City, it's a really popular place for people to just get in the car and drive right on down, and there's a great place to park, and you'll get all of that information as well when, um, when we book you, so. And that's, uh, gosh, if you think about Royal Caribbean having four ships uh, going out of Galveston here in the near future, uh, that there's a lot of opportunities for people to go on Royal Caribbean cruises without the expense uh, of driving. And we know a lot of people don't like to fly right now. So if that's you, then we have options for you. And again, this is why Mimi and I are so adamant about getting our vacation advisors like Lauren uh, to experience these things. And and I gotta tell you, Vicki Freed, uh, Kristen, uh, the press release she sent out, $125 million is what that brand new terminal costs. So that's a major investment, major investment for the consumer's uh, comfort and ease of checking in on their ships. And I think uh, congratulations to Royal Caribbean for their innovation and their investment in a great uh, pier like what is now in Galveston. It is an amazing terminal and it shows every dollar they spent. I mean, we really do get you from your car on ship within 20 minutes because a lot of times you lose your whole first day just trying to get your luggage on board. And so we, we, have, we have navigated this um, to really get you on board as quickly as possible. And that terminal was built so that there will always be an Oasis class ship down there. As you can see, we have Allure of the Seas down there right now. And then in November, uh, Harmony of the Seas will be coming in. Harmony has Few more bells and whistles but we will always have a dedicated oasis ship class ship down there so um lauren anything else you want to toss in before we move on no no it was a great experience so excited for people to experience it well i would yeah, say if you're interested fun. have lauren uh she would be happy to help give you uh first-hand experience information about the galveston pier and with that lauren thank you uh kristen let's get back to the webinar there's All right. a lot more to come like destinations Absolutely. So we do try to pick the most remarkable and best destinations on the planet. Where do we go? We pretty much go everywhere. This is a good visual of um, all the country or all the continents, I guess, that we that we uh, sail to, beginning with Alaska, which is one that is near and dear to me. Alaska was one of my first sailings, um, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I do have one word of advice. If you sail to Alaska, always, always, always have a balcony stateroom. It is majestic and um, I've never seen more beauty. It is the last frontier and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, filled with natural wonders. This is our sphere that takes you up for a 360 degree view. Uh, when you are in the Alaska area, super cool uh, experience for our guests on board. And we also do cruise tours. I was fortunate enough to do cruise tours in May of this year. And that was an experience that was also amazing. It was five days. We pretty much did, we, we plugged in absolutely everything possible. And there are a lot of great cruise tour 
options for you to tack on either pre-cruise or post-cruise, and your travel partners here will be happy to walk you through that because they're anyway from anywhere from three to 11 days. But we do have four ships up in Alaska. We have Quantum of the Seas, Ovation of the Seas, Radiance, and Brilliance of the Seas. And we do a fantastic job in Alaska. I love our Alaska product. We do Open Jaw, Vancouver to Seward, and, we also, and then Seward to Vancouver. And then we also do Round Trip, Vancouver to Vancouver, and Seattle to Seattle. And we pretty much stop at all the great stops. Um, Ketchikan, I love Ketchikan. Juno is, is fantastic. Uh, the Inside Passage is probably my all-time favorite. But Alaska summer of 2023 is a very hot item right now. I definitely suggest if that is in your bucket list, uh, try to explore your options for that on any of our four ships that are up there. Um, the sphere is called the North Star, and that's a very cool visual of how high you go and your, your uh, view that you can see from there. Again, the cruise tours, I think we do a fantastic job on the cruise tours. This is the, uh, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Somebody jump in. Um, Wild Wilderness Express, I'm so sorry. This is our Wilderness Express train. If you look at the very back two cars, those are the royal cars. Everybody wants to be in those coaches because they are luxurious. We have leather reclining seats. We have a full bar up top and below. And we also serve you lunch while you're on the cars. And you have uh, the dome that you can see absolutely everything unobstructed around you. Our cruise tour product is really fantastic. Of course, we visit Canada and New England as well. Um, Europe, we have amazing itineraries in Europe with some of the best hardware in the world. Really good ships there. Uh, Australia and New Zealand, very excited that those options and products are open again for um, sailing. Asia, uh, we travel to Asia. We have a great product there as well. Um, and I'm thinking that we should be able to go back to Asia very soon. Uh, the Caribbean, Bermuda, and the Bahamas, of course, is what we are known for. Uh, we are Royal Caribbean. We do, that is our wheelhouse. We do it like no one else. And that includes our perfect island, perfect day at Coco Cay. And in a little while, um, I know we had three of Cruise Holiday Kansas City um, friends on the, on the island with me on the Wonder, and they're going to give you sort of their experience breakdown. But perfect day is truly an amazing island in the middle of uh, the Bahamas. And this is sort of a rundown of everything that's there. We have Daredevil's Tower, which I did not do. Um, it's the tallest water slide in, the, in, the, in this whole entire area. Um, we have different areas on, on uh, the island, Cocoa Beach Club, we have the Chill Grill, we have Thrills Chills here. Like I said, Icon really took the best of Coco Cay and put it on board the ship. We also have a more subdued island, Labadee in Haiti, um, that's a little more casual and calm. You get to explore the water and sort of embrace that just a little bit more. Uh, let's talk about dining really quick. Everybody goes on cruises for dining. Like I said, we ate more the last week than uh, probably should be allowed, but it was all amazing. Um, but we're super flexible with our dining too. We have my time dining where you can either eat early, late, or with uh, my time, which is any time that you would like to eat. Room service is always an option for a small fee. Uh, we have complimentary dining options that are fantastic. And then our sweet exclusive dining, which is Coastal Kitchen. We talked about that just a little bit. Um, we have a la carte options like our sugar sweet store, uh, Johnny Rockets, Starbucks. And then we also have specialty dining. But as you can see from this list right here, our complimentary dining is extensive. Um, I'm pretty sure I ate at every single one of these, and it was all fantastic. Uh, and then these are our specialty and a la carte dining options. The mason jar, if you haven't experienced that, really, really cool vibe, awesome venue. Izumi is sushi. Um, Chops Grill for a great steak. We've got you covered, covered on every level. I want to tell you also that I just ate at Wonderland. And so for those foodies out there, this is a super cool Alice in Wonderland environment. Um, the food is, uh, um, let me just say this. 
you will not be disappointed by the creativity and the beauty of the food that they present to you. And when you eat it, you will not believe that it's what they tell you it is. It is just an experience in and of itself. Um, and this is sort of a breakdown of our dining and beverage packages. I won't go through the whole thing, but we do have packages that allow you to experience absolutely everything on board. And our youth activities. I'm super proud to talk about our youth activities because we have an award-winning program like no other um, ocean adventure. And it is, we cover everything from six months to 17 years old and we're looking to expand that just a little bit further. But we have arcade games, family activities, pools and water slides, and then we have menus that accommodate our little ones. But at Adventure Ocean, like I said, we, we handle royal babies and royal tots. Um, all the way from six, six months up to 17 years old. And some people would think, oh, my teenagers aren't gonna be interested in that. I guarantee you, you will not see your teenagers. You probably won't even see your little ones. They, would, they don't wanna leave. I heard one mom saying that she went to pick up her kids at 1 a.m. and they were crying because they did not wanna have to leave Adventure Ocean yet. So we really do a great, fantastic job. Um, we are autism friendly. And I won't read the whole list right there, but we do, um, we have a dedicated department that does um, specialty autism friendly uh, ad adventures and experiences on board. Um, we also cater to special needs in a variety of ways. Like I said, we have um, a special department that heads up our special needs for mobility, visual, hearing, and then other needs as well. Um, going back to that really quickly, I know a lot of special needs not necessarily our, our um, special needs, but we have a lot of dietary restrictions. And I was just on board with some people that were celiac and gluten-free, and I was very happy to see that our staff took great care of them with special menus, um, also vegetarian. So if that's something you are concerned about, surely your um, travel partners can give you some insight on that. Entertainment and nightlife. Our ships do not shut down at nine o'clock at night. We have full length, amazing, Broadway shows with Broadway actors and singers. Uh, we have Saturday Night Fever, Grease, uh, We Will Rock You, Mamma Mia, one of my all-time favorites, Cats, and Hairspray, which I also love. In addition to that, we have our own curated shows um, that are original productions for Royal Caribbean. I just saw Effectors, and that was pretty fun. Um, so I won't read them all again, but we have great shows on board that will keep you entertained and the talent is pretty much top notch and I'm kind of critical about that. We also have nightlife with live music and dancing, lots of cocktails and wine, casinos and game shows, and then themed parties. I did a 70s party that was pretty funny. Um, and I'm not kidding you, literally everybody went all out in their costumes and decor and dressing up and it was really, really fun. One of the um, also amazing things about Royal is our pre-cruise planner. So on your Royal Caribbean app, you can do all of your pre-cruise planning there. And of course your travel partners will be happy to assist you in picking out items that are um, right up your alley and things that they think you would like the best, maybe things they've experienced, they would like to have you experience because they know you're gonna like that. But it is a really easy and navigatable um, way to plan. I also want to touch really quickly on our shore excursions. Uh, our shore excursion team specially curates these um, with the idea of convenience, amazing variety, and um, priority on and off ship. So when you plan shore excursions through our shore excursion team, you have priority uh, disembarking and embarking. And I, one of the great things is if, if for whatever reason your shore excursion is running behind schedule, we will, we will. We'll keep the ship there and wait for you. If you did not go through our shore excursion tour department, um, we probably are not going to have the ship waiting there for you when you get back. And I've seen videos of people running to get back on ship while the ship is pulling out. Um, but we do offer accessible adventures, active adventures, culinary delights. We really try to engage you in the, in the soul of the culture that you're in with food um, and sites and also building and bonding those family connections. Our Wi-Fi is now, let's see, I think we're 90% um, on Starlink. Uh, so it is surf and stream, super high powered internet. And by March of 2023, I believe we will be all Starlink on every ship. 
Like I said, if you haven't downloaded the Royal Caribbean app, this is a great app for you to do almost everything. It's a mobile check-in. You do your muster drill. It's an award-winning muster, muster point two drill. That is just a video, and then you go to your station, wham, bam, you're done, takes five seconds. You can do your whole daily planner on there. My favorite is the dining reservations and the dining uh, tab because I can see what's on all of the menus. Um, we have ticketless shore excursions, paperless dining menus, like I said, a map of Perfect Day at Coco Cay, which you might need the first time that, be, that you're there, and guest-to-guest -guest chats. So the app is really uh, intuitive and easy to use and um, just a great feature. If you haven't sailed on Royal Caribbean with us, I just want you to know that we are award-winning. We are the best cruise line overall for the past 19 years. Um, private, private, our, our private um, island, Perfect Day Coco Cay, was voted the best private island. We really have you covered on every level, and we want you on board. We want you to experience everything we have to offer because we know when you sail with us, you're probably gonna stay with us for the rest of your life because we cover every generation um, with amazing experiences. So what, what does the travel advisor offer you? We cannot tell you and stress enough that the travel advisor, your travel partners here at Cruise Holidays are your best friend because they have experienced all of this. We have, we have invited them to everything so that they can experience it and talk to you about everything we have to offer and give you a firsthand um, viewpoint of what they've been able to do on board. So with that, I've had three of the travel partners here at Cruise Holidays on board with me on the Wonder and Wonder of the Seas, and it was pretty amazing. Um, and I'm gonna let them share some of their experiences while they were on board with me. Thank you, Kristen, and uh, there's no doubt about it. You have something for everybody at Royal Caribbean. And with that, let me just give you some, let you talk to some of our uh, staff here at Cruise Holidays of Kansas City. And I'd like to go first to Nicole Busenbark because one of the things I love is when a mom or a grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle take one shot and share that memory together that will last a lifetime. And Nicole Busenbark just took a mom and son trip on the wonder of the seas, Nicole. Uh, who is our graphic arts designer, social media website manager. Tell us about some of uh, maybe a highlight. You could talk for three days, which is how long oh. you're on. But let's hear about your highlights with your son, Bryce. Well, like Mark said, I, I took my son who is seven. Um, he is an only child, so he, he got to go. Um, my husband had to stay home. So we just, he thought that was hilarious that him and mommy got to go on a trip by ourselves and we had an absolute blast. I could not have asked for anything more. Um, if you can see on my screen here, I've got some of, of the photos here. And when we got on board, we hit the ground running. Uh, we did as much as we could that first day. And they welcomed us on board with, mine was champagne, his was sparkling juice. Um, but as you can see, he's got his little cruising through life one port at a time shirt on and his captain's hat and he was just playing the part of of he was the captain and he thought it was so fun that all of the staff would come by and be like captain what are you doing here well you shouldn't you be up steering the ship and it was just that was a fun experience for him um in the middle you can see there that was at night um and it's so beautiful during the day or at night on board the ships it's it's lit beautifully as you can see the abyss that big slide is behind us and in front of us is the carousel which we're riding there in the bottom in the bottom left i think i rode the carousel 15 times in two days <laughs> and then we um we decided to go to go up to the pool deck there and as you can see there's a little the splash away bay area for, area for the kids which is great they have the big slides He's not a fan of those. He would much rather be down in that area with the um, with the small slides and there's little water features that that spray water and do other things. And we just loved that. Um, I'll go through here. Ooh, let me. OK, so here was our perfect day at Coco Cay and perfection is exactly what it was. We had an absolute blast he is a lucky little duck and he actually was at coco k in march for his birthday so we got to go back and for a little boy that is go 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 all the time 
he can sit on that beach mat right there for five plus hours and is a happy, happy camper. Um, we stayed all day on Chill Island. We we started our day there. Then we did go to the Chill Grill for lunch, which was is an amazing spread. You've got stuff for kids. You've got hamburgers and hot dogs and um, their sandwiches. I had the taco bar, which was great. There's a great dessert spread. There's something for everybody. And that's all complimentary. That is included. Um, and as you can see, we were there with another ship. So our large ship, the Wonder, was there with the Independence. And it didn't feel like there was anybody on the island. It's it's amazing how many that island can hold and you don't feel that. Um, the the hot air balloon that's such a, a a cool excursion that you can book we didn't do it but it would be a lot of fun and we did go over to the main pool the oasis lagoon pool and kristen was talking about how people just love that swim up bar people of all ages love it bryce thought it was just hysterical that he could sit up there and drink his orange juice and feel like one of the big kids and then we were dancing and uh, we stayed there for probably an hour and then ended up back over at Chill Island and floating around on our on our mats there. Um, as far as stuff for kids to do, there is something for everyone, children of all ages, young, old, and all of us old ones that want to feel young. Um, we spent some time at the arcade, as you can see. We spent some time over by um, over by the abyss. There are these little, we call them chips that the kids can climb up and and uh, get a higher point of view of everything. He really liked that. We we loved going to Johnny Rockets at night. There you can see we got our, ourselves a milkshake and took it to one of the night shows with us. And speaking of shows, the entertainment on board is top notch. It was the amount of talent in their pinky toe is more than I could ever want to have. The, ice show was beautiful it was entertaining the music was great it appealed to all ages and then if you go to the effectors which is the show at the bottom it was a phenomenal show it was a great show for kids it had music that adults know and love the premise of it is is that there's these superheroes and then you've got your two villains they were interactive with the crowd. Bryce got to go and high five all of them at the end. Um, he just, it, he felt really special and all of the kids got to come up and do that. We, we were lucky enough, we got to sit in the front row for both the ice show and for the effectors. Um, and Bryce has asked me several times now if we can get merchandise for the effectors, like shirt and logo items. So, um, it, it definitely, it just def definitely resonated with him. And I think that is all I have for our photos here. But we had a, we had a magical time. Couldn't have hey, asked for anything more. Nicole, our, uh, our uh, mission statement here at Cruise Holidays is we help our clients create memories that last a lifetime. That also mm -hmm. goes for our staff too. My guess yeah. is there are memories that will last a lifetime, right? Yes, absolutely. We, uh, he, he told me every day, mommy, this is the best day ever. This is just the best day ever. And, you know, as much as a vacation it is for me, it's, it's seen through his eyes is what makes it so special. And Royal does a brilliant job of a multi-generational cruise that uh, there is something that appeals to everyone on board. And I think they do a really wonderful job with the with the ice show with, you know, the talent behind it, you could appreciate so much as an adult, but yet there was, you know, the quirky little fun things that they would do here and there and the music was current day music that that a younger audience would know. Um, so yeah, it was it was absolutely perfect. Well, and I'm, I'm trying to still be on the cruise. I wore my wonder of the seas shirt today so I could pretend like maybe I was still on board. <laughs> way, to, way to make brownie points. That's good. And uh, and I thank you very much. And uh, We've seen about a thousand of Nicole's pictures, so we know what a great time she had. But now yes. Nicole and, and Bryce spent a lot of time on, on Coco Cay, and they did as much, uh, they act, did actually more thrills uh, than they did chills, except for at that swim up bar. But one of our vacation coordinators, hey, uh, Kate Hollinger, she got the royal 
VIP treatment on Perfect Day at Coco Cay because you know the right people, Kate. Tell us about your experience on the uh, VIP section of the chill part of Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Absolutely. I mean, due to our partnership with Royal Caribbean, me and um, Anna were able to elevate our experience at Perfect Day at Coco Cay at their private beach club. Now, the private beach club, it has an infinity pool, beachside infinity pool. The beach is, there's not a speck of, of seaweed on there. It is the clearest beach. You can walk into the water. We saw lots of sea life, lots of shell picking going on down there. Um, we also were able to have a complimentary lunch that if you choose to elevate your experience the way that we did, you will also get the complimentary lunch, complimentary towels, beach chairs, beach tables. Um, and we had the most delicious uh, appetizer box. So they gave us baba ganoush, hummus, tzatziki, ceviche. Um, that was all just to start. Uh, it was delicious. We tried every little bit of it. I'm usually not a seafood fan, but of course, Royal Caribbean does it right. And it is delicious. So I had everything. Then also for the um, main course, you got truffle fries, you have filet mignon right there on the beach. Um, you have lobster burgers, grouper, tiger prawn burger. I mean, we tried a little bit of everything as well. The wait staff was above and beyond at the beach club. I mean, no matter where you go with Royal Caribbean, they are so kind, they treat you like family, you never have I mean, no, nobody ever gives you a frown. So being on that, what felt like a five-star resort on top of everything, I mean, it was exceptional, Mark, exceptional service. Kate, let me ask you a question because on a normal cruise for clients, there is a charge to that, of course. Uh, in your experience, would you counsel our clients that it was worth the money they charged for that experience? A hundred percent, because whether you want to just grab a cabana, you can pay a little bit extra at the beach resort to even get an overwater cabana and have a little bit of Bora Bora during your Coco Cay getaway. Um, so I hundred percent, it, it there was people, there were families there with little babies swimming around in the pool, not a bother at all. Um, you, you can bring your whole family there, or if it's just you and your husband, I mean, it definitely elevates the experience to a perfect 10 zen i mean you are relaxing the entire time and there's crystal clear water to just lull you to sleep i like the bora bora comparison and absolutely uh, for, for a whole lot less than bora bora costs you one of those <laughs> little bit of bora bora <laughs> well, you know on the and kate i do appreciate that on the experience that uh, kate was on at coco k one of our vacation advisors uh anna bidstrip was also with Kate on that. We've asked Anna to address uh, the wonder of the sea specifically and to share uh, the highlights of that incredible ship also. So Anna, welcome. Tell us about the wonder of the seas. Thank you so much for having me. It was an incredible experience. So wonderful. I want to preface this with, I got home, I called my mom and we're already booked for next summer with my niece, my nephew, my husband, my sister. So um, that was within a day of getting home is how impressed I was. Um, speaking of going with my husband, there is an adult experience as well on the ship. It's not all what um, is family friendly. There's also adult um, comedy shows. Uh, there's the solarium, which you have to be 16 or older to go to. So even if you're not traveling with kids, don't feel like this isn't the right fit for you. It is. Um, the food was the best I've ever had on any ocean cruise. I've been on over 20 ocean cruises and hands down, it was the best. Um, something really fun that they have on the Oasis class ships is the bionic bar, which are two robot bartenders. So just imagine you, your significant other, hanging out before dinner, um, being able to have those sort of experiences. Uh, like I mentioned, my mom and dad, they are going with us. Um, they are retirement age. They've been on a ton of Royal Caribbean cruises. We have been going on Royal Caribbean since I was about 13 years old. So they are thrilled to return for the first time with their niece and nephew um, who are close to Bryce's age, Nicole's son. So I think they're going to have a very similar experience to what Nicole and Bryce did. Uh, but in terms of the adult experience, I cannot wait to show my husband the entire ship. Um, one of 
of my favorite memories was the um, comedy show at midnight. We went to it. We stayed up till one or two that night experiencing um, everything. Like Kristen said, the ship does not shut down at 9 p.m. It actually comes to life even more. Um, overall, I think it's great if you are as little as a, as a baby or toddler all the way up to um, grandparents age and beyond. So um, I absolutely cannot wait to return. We are going in July. Um, like I said, it's going to be my entire family and um, just the experience I had just for those few days on the wonder this past week has just blown me away and I can't wait to help more clients um, get, get the Oasis class ships booked in particular, the wonder, and of course, you know, the icon's going to even be that much more of an elevated experience. So very, very exciting. Royal Caribbean will always be the, the front runner, the state of the art, the biggest, best ships. They will always have the things that you've never even thought were possible and everybody else just follows suit. So they are the, the game changers in the ocean cruise industry. Totally, totally agree with that. Anna, let me just ask you this. That experience of being on this ship and being on uh, the private island and that experience is invaluable, is it not, in how you advise your customers when they go on Royal Caribbean? It definitely is. If you've never been on an ocean cruise before, it's hard to even explain the whole experience. So like I said, I've been on over 20 ocean cruises. I've been on all the amazing cruise lines. I've been on Royal Caribbean the most. Like I said, I grew up going on Royal Caribbean. So I have that perspective of back when I was a you know, 13 into early adulthood, all the way to now being a full grown adult um, going on it with niece and nephew um, and seeing it through their eyes, like Nicole said, I cannot wait till we get on that ship and they just light up and see um, what they could have never even imagined. Pictures can't do it justice. I agree, you know, and I, I've i uh, had the luxury of being on even more than you have uh, and Royal Caribbean always, just like Kristen said in the very beginning, they lead the industry in innovation. They lead the industry in the quality of entertainment. They lead the industry in options of restaurants. They lead the industry in the ocean and the kids programs, the ocean adventure programs for all ages. Uh, they lead the industry, whether it's for solo travelers or girls get togethers, or whether it's a bunch of friends and family going, or whether it's three and sometimes even four generations. Uh, Mimi and I have the uh, pleasure and we're looking so forward to this. We're going to our daughter and son-in-law are going somewhere in June. I don't even know where they're going, but I know where Mimi and I are going with our two grandkids. We're going on the allure of the seas and we cannot wait for that experience. So um, thank you very much, Anna, for joining us today. You, you uh, do such a great job in advising uh, your clients and making sure that they uh, know everything there is to know about the experience, know about travel insurance, know about pre and post packages, get dining, reserved all these things that are so important to know uh, make sure they know about all the different kinds of entertainment options like you said uh, all of that is so very important with a line like royal caribbean that has so many different options so anna thank you for joining us today and kristen can i ask you a couple questions sure you know you said it earlier i want to go back to this everybody who might be thinking out there that royal caribbean ships are too big for them uh the real reality is royal caribbean ships sometimes some of them are the largest in the world yes but the job royal caribbean does in making big ships smaller because of that neighborhood concept is ingenious it's just spectacular and that ship that maybe has more people on it than any ship in the world or ships won't feel like it's big if you know all about how the neighborhoods work. And I compliment uh, Royal Caribbean so very well on that. Uh, you have figured out the logistics and getting people on and off the ship, like you said, going to tours and coming back on. All these things that are so very important, dining, uh, the ships, while yes, they are large, big, they don't feel that way. More importantly, at the end of your vacation, the experience on Royal Caribbean, because truly there is something for everybody, and I mean everybody on these floating resorts, uh, your experience, your satisfaction, the value you received as a client for your vacation based on the investment and the time 
uh, is well worth it. And that's why we, for 33 out of our 34 years, have sold more Royal Caribbean than any other ocean cruise ship because we know it gives our clients the value for their dollar and their time, and it exceeds their expectations. Do you agree? 100%. I agree with literally everything you just said. <laughs> I am proud to work for this company because I think they do a top-notch job. Kirsten, let me ask you this too. The importance to the consumer nowadays for who they choose to plan their vacation with is perhaps more important now than ever before, isn't it? Yeah, and I think one of our goals is to make sure that when when our when your clients do choose Royal Caribbean, we want them to experience the best vacation that they've had in every way. And we do not our we want them to go off. We want them to actually book their next cruise in our next cruise department. Mm -hmm. um, because we know that once we get them on board, they're going to fall in love with the product. And we want them to get off and just say, you know what, that was the best vacation we've had. And I think we do a really good job at that. I think you do a great job of that. I know you do. And Kristen, one other <laughs> thing the consumer always is wondering, are they better off booking with Royal Caribbean Direct or booking with one of their top agencies like, uh, say, Cruz Alves, Kansas City? Yeah. Hmm. Let me think about that. Absolutely. We we partner with our with with our travel partners because they are going to do the best job for you. They're going to find the right cruise, the right room, the right experiences. They have done everything on board and they're able to tell you what they know that you know or think that you're going to um, like the best and they're going to take care of you. You know what? They work with someone like me. I can give them things that if you call in direct, you're not going to be able to get. And um, our travel partners are our greatest asset as a company. And we are very you know, proud to partner with uh, Cruise Holidays Kansas City. And we know that they're going to take excellent care of you. Well, and, and, and we do. And we do. That's why so many of our clients come back again okay. and again and again. Maybe it's a Royal Caribbean to the Caribbean the first time, but then they want to go to Alaska the next time. And then they want to go to the Mediterranean the next time, and then the Baltic Seas next time, and then Australia, New Zealand the next time. Royal Caribbean can truly take our clients all around the world. And I will tell you, in our 34 years of business, uh, gosh, we are personal friends with the chairman of the board, uh, Richard Fain, uh, your Bosses, boss, your two bosses, Kristen, Galen Matthews, the yeah. regional VP, and Vicki Freed, uh, the senior VP of sales and marketing, have been our, uh, gosh, we've been partners together for literally almost all 33 years we've known those people. So uh, that, that relationship is so great. Our parent company, Travel Leaders, is Royal Caribbean's number one account in the world. And we will have, because of this Travel Leaders uh, um partnership with Royal Caribbean. We have many cases over 2000 Royal Caribbean cruises at any one time that we have extra added values or better pricing than anybody else will have. So don't think you'll get it better by booking direct or booking online with Expedia or Costco or Travelocity. You lose service when you do that. And I, I think right now service is the Number one most important thing there is, we learned that through the pandemic, and we're here to help you uh, find what's best for you. And by the way, uh, our goal and our success has been matching you up with what's right for you. And if Royal Caribbean is not the best fit, we will make suggestions on other fits that we feel will match you up best with what you're looking for, what your needs, wants, desires, and budgets are. So with that said, but 99 times out of 100 Royal Caribbean, uh, is perfect for about anybody. Hey, Kristen, thank you so much for hosting this webinar today. Let me wish you the happiest of holidays. Merry Christmas. And um, I hope again, Santa brings you the gift of travel under your tree if you've been a good girl this year. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. I really appreciate it. And uh, our goal is to find a uh, the perfect vacation that's right for you and to exceed your expectations. So here is a travel tip that I think you'll be glad to hear or you should know. 2023 looks to be the single best year in the history of vacations in every segment of the vacation industry, ocean cruising, river cruising, all-inclusive resorts, uh, air flights, hotels, 
uh, B and B's, every everything, VRBOs. Your dollars ahead. Talk to your family and friends and start that planning process just as quickly as you can. I am working with Kristen right now on putting together an incentive here before the end of the year. So give us a call. We work by appointments now. It's worked very well. We can do Zoom meetings or we can do phone call conferences or we can meet with you in person, which I like still the best. Uh, our goal though is to find the perfect vacation for you. And I wanted to say on behalf of our entire staff, thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you that have done business with us uh, for your business in the past and your repeat business in the future. Uh, so many of you all have helped us grow uh, and build our business back by your referrals. We can't thank you enough for your referrals. There are not a lot of vacation specialists like us anymore in a brick and mortar setup. We've got 25 people here, Mimi and I do, that are specializing in vacations only. Okay, we don't do corporate. Uh, we don't do just air, we do vacations with air uh, all over the world. So we want to earn your business. Thank you so very much. And we all here at Cruise Holidays, thank you for your business, uh, your referrals, and we wish you the happiest of holidays. Those of you that celebrate Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas. And we will see you shortly in the happiest of New Year's and may your new year be full of Royal Caribbean vacations. Thank you, everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.